Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2017 in Busan in the Republic of Korea. I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Minister Rudy Antra, who is the Minister of Communication and Information Technology for Indonesia. Rudy, thank you very much indeed for being with us in the studio today. My pleasure, Max. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you about smart digital transformation. It's what's the, the, on everybody's lips here at ITU Telecom World. What does smart digital transformation mean to Indonesia? Uh, the digital smart transformation is how can we maximize the use of digital technology uh, to the benefit of the people how can the people not only in the big cities but in the rural they are able to use to maximize the use of digital in order to improve their economic to improve their socials you know? that is the basic line of the digital transformation and what smart opportunities do you see in the next five years and what are the key challenges? Uh, Indonesia is a big country. Indonesia is pretty much archipelago countries, consists of 17,000 islands where 60% people live in one island, the big island Java. Yeah. In the Java islands, I don't think that uh, ICT infrastructure is an issue. Yeah. Uh, but in other uh, island is really an issue where we are focusing ourselves to build the ICT infrastructure. So that's why the government of Indonesia right now is focusing in the implementing the, we call it Palaparing project, where the whole capital of region throughout the country, we have more than 500 uh, regions throughout the country, has to be connected by broadband in 2019. While in Java, where infrastructures is more than adequate, we are now focusing on the applications, next layer of the ICT infrastructures, which is where people develop the applications and uh, generating the uh, economic growth uh, from these applications. Perhaps we could talk a little bit about how important SMEs are in driving innovation in the digital economy. Indeed, indeed, SME is very important. Uh, we have the micro, small, medium enterprises, uh, more or less 56 million in Indonesia, yeah, out of 260 million people who live in Indonesia. Na? And our economy, more than 50 percent, is represented by the micro, small, medium enterprise uh, GDP. Yeah? And with this technology development, particularly in, in Java, uh, we are able to create more entrepreneurs, to create more micro, small, medium enterprises. I can give you some examples. Tokopedia. Tokopedia is one of the uh, e-commerce marketplace platform. They have two, two million merchants. Interestingly, out of two million, 80% are new persons or new a group of people who do the business. So when they see there is an opportunity to use the technology, and they use it. So they sell their goods, they sell their services through digital technology. But this is only in Java for the time being, where infrastructure is almost everywhere. But our job is not only Java, because Indonesia is not only Java, Indonesia is spread uh, from west to the east as if we are flying from uh, Los Angeles to New York or from Oslo, uh, Sweden to Vladivostok, Russia. You know. Of course, no, no, absolutely. So, uh, what about your, your vision of reducing wealth disparity through digital economy business models in Indonesia? Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about that. Uh, reducing disparity of the wealth is not an issue only in Indonesia. Globally, look at even in the G20 countries, we are experiencing still the uh, gap yeah, uh, reflected by the Gini ratio, ranging between the, in the G20s probably ranging between 25 to uh, 45 or something like that. You know? And look at in LDCs, less developed countries, because not uh, all the countries are member of the G20 in the world. You know? Look at the, G, the, in the LDCs. In LDCs, they experience Gini ratio probably 40 to uh, 60 percent. Then we have to narrow the gap. This is our obligation. It's not particular country. It's us. It's people who live in the world to hawk so we should reduce the gap between the both. You know. And by what? By maximizing or, or the use of the digital technology. 
I'm not saying that uh, every country has to apply the similar application in Indonesia like Gojek and Tokopedia, like I said earlier, you know, but at least we have experience, you know, how can we maximize this one? Uh, for instance, you know, right now, for the one who would like to enter into culinary business, they should have a kitchen to cook the foods, and they should have the restaurants yeah, or the stores yeah, to sell their foods, you know. But with this technology, it is proven even in Indonesia, we don't need the physical restaurant anymore. Why? Because people can food order directly to Gojek and they will pick up the food directly from the kitchen and deliver from the kitchen to the customer. So this will reduce a lot of intermediary costs. So this is actually what we have to do. It's not the, uh, literally what, as I said, but the thinking, the thought that how can we reduce the is intermediary intermediary by utilizing the technology digital. Yeah, and of course, the food is a great example. We all need to eat, but of Absolutely. course, the, the, there are other examples as well, which are just just as important. I'm sure. Oh yeah, of course, it's not only foods, but in Indonesia, Gojek uh, initially is meant for transportation. This is the uh, two motorcycle uh, taxi is Uber uh, version of Indonesia uh, to transport the people. But now this is becoming lifestyle. It's not only the foods. If you like, we if you like to have the uh, massage service parlor or something like that, they will send the parlor. If you want to clean up our apartment, they will send someone who can clean up our apartment. Again, it is lifestyle. And finally, I'd just like to ask you, what's the value of uh, attending events such as ITU Telecom World? And, and what's your key message to participants here? Uh, it is very valuable. Otherwise, we, I won't come to this uh, ITU Telecom World 2017, nor we have the booth, the, the country uh, booth, which is quite big compared to others, you know, uh, but not as big as the host country, of course. You know. Again, attending the ITU uh, to Indonesia, we are not the most advanced country from the digital technology point of view, but nor we are the least developed countries from digital technology. We are, say, in the middle or something like that. But we have to learn what would be the advanced country doing. How do develop the digital technology? How they can maximize their technology to the benefit of the uh, people, whether from economic as well as for the social. That is the, the main objective that uh, we come to this uh, Congress. Not only that one, uh, if there is another country who would like to uh, say, learn from the experience of Indonesia and copy uh, the, what we have done in Indonesia, we'll be also more than happy. Again, this uh, ITU Telecom World uh, is very important to, to, to the member of ITU, to me. Yeah? And if I may uh, suggest to everyone, uh, this is the time for us to learn each other. The one who already advanced, it is their responsibility as well, how they can drag the least developed countries in terms of digital technology. Uh, and the role of ITU, as I uh, shared with you earlier, Max, I think ITU even has to reposition themselves. It's not to perceive that ITU is only on the, on the pipe business, on the basic uh, telecommunications. Uh, I'm not also uh, don't want to position that ITU is taken over all internet world because it's very dynamic, it's not easy to manage as well. Well, thank you for sharing your insights into what's happening in Indonesia. We wish you the very best here at uh, ITU Telecom World and we look forward to catching up with you again in the future. Okay, Max, thank you very much. Good luck for everyone. Thank okay, you very much. Awesome.